So we're missing anything in these videos that you've picked up Bro, yourself? We're missing everything. Comment below. Comment below your interpretation or if you know Death Grip's interpretation, then give us Good a Lord. I wanna know exactly what the fuck they think and what they're beyond when they're doing this shit, you know? Who even thinks to put an inhaler with the hundred emoji <laughs> in front of a barbed wire fence? How hard is it? How would it be to be like, hey, I want this? And the guy would be like, you want what? I'm sorry for being like this, y'all. No, Death Grips, Death Grips did this to us. Y'all with Jungle Beach. My name is Alexander, man. I just like I'm Peter Pan. I flew to the moon and back. This my homie <sighs> Sandy too. He looks like to do big pool. Y'all have asked us to listen to Govern Place. Not only have they asked us to listen to it, they've asked us to watch it with the music videos. So we have where you can't see a big ass TV with the videos ready to go. Uh huh. We're going to do it. There was one where it did the whole thing, one video after the other, but we're going to do it video by video because it's the way that it is on Death Grip's channel. So exactly. we're going to do it how we normally do it. We're going to stop it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to keep getting to it. And at the end of it, if we feel like that it was meant to be watched all as one, then we'll do it another time. But for now, this is our first listen, first reaction to it. And the first track of this is you might think he loves, loves you for your money, but I know what he really loves you for. That sounds like a fucking line. Yo, dick. Um, these are all instrumentals, correct? I don't know. I think I, someone said it was more instrumental. So either it's going to be fully instrumental or some. I'm going to get my fucking glasses. Because it's got the shit going on. All right, let's go. I'm going to play it. Let's play it. Jungle B. Yo, it's Peggy. Check Peggy Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> They're singing all right. Come, come, fuck, party. Uh. I love the aggression. Yo, so there's definitely singing on this album. Yep. Uh, I love the guitar. I love the more live instrumental drums on here. Uh, energy's on point. And he's just crazy in the video clip, isn't he? He's just like... It's like he's lo it's like he's insane. Like he's lost his sanity. It's like a very animalistic type of expression. Very animalistic. Like when he spits, when he sort of grits his teeth, when he's like... He's right. like it's like he has, he's trying to grip control of himself, but he has no control. I like that about Death Grips, is animalistic and often we don't get a chance to express this side of ourselves. Society wants to, no, don't be, don't, don't let that out of you. That's, that's not appropriate. That's Johnny. the past. We're, we're fucking animals, man. Right. And we have all these crazy tendencies to just be, just loose and vibrant. To hurt people, to fuck. To right. Like, be like, yeah. So I love that about Death Grips. <laughs> Is that a light for a camera? The camera. 
I think it is. What do you think the snake's about? Maybe Adam and Eve, the snake? Like it stands for sin? Do you know what hydrocodone is? I might Google it afterwards. So we got a very like repetitive image of those. It was the skull, it was the snake, it was the drugs, it was the camera. Four mm -hmm. images on repeat. <sighs> Obviously telling some type of story. Uh, Dihydrocodone is a semi-synthetic opioid synthesized from codeine, one of the opioid alkaloids found in the opium poppy. Okay. So very similar to codeine, opium. Is opium a depressant, stimulus, or hallucinogen? Right. Oh, it's a pain medication. Oh. It's a pain medication. So I'm guessing it'd be maybe similar to like opium heroin. Like it gives you sort of a sweet, it takes away pain. Mm. So it gives you the sort of sweet numb feeling. I'm not what, sure what to make of that visually. Yeah. But, but like the skull could represent death. The snake could represent, I, rep, I, I got the representation of evil or sin, like back to Adam and evil. The camera for me represented like someone's always watching you. And then the drugs represented just madness. Addiction. Addiction, madness, yeah. So maybe those were the four key things in that song. What about something... sonically? Like the song? Yeah. I liked it. The, I've realized so far on this album there's a lot more live drums. So far there's been a lot of live drums and the guitars on point. So it seems like they're taking but they've still got they've still got the synth to it as well, so I don't <coughs> I'm quite digging it so far. I I mean the, the visuals in that one weren't as interesting as the first one, but I was still really paying attention, so and I like towards the end how his his last verse was really aggressive. Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? The last one was different. You got really aggressive. Yeah. Let this watch this just be bubbles the whole time. Yeah. High production value. Oh no. It's like a psychiatric kind of room. Yeah. Like... Maybe it stands for their fans? This is so interesting. It's not red anymore now. No. That's a drone. Flying around. It's like the Death Star or something like a planet and it's like space, mm. like the moon, the universe, mm. need some drugs man. <laughs> a lot of visuals in that video clip. Yeah. There was the, the moon close up at the start or whatever planet it was and then it got really really small and then it exploded into a thousand other stars. I feel that it's like a representation of the close ups like this is us Earth, like it's so big it's all we see but then if you like take it away there's an infinite universe around it, like around it. Yeah, it's like your different focus or different sort of views on at the time. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of what I got from it. The baby with the drone was well, that. That's the most interesting thing to me. Like, what could that be depicting, and how could that tie into the the, the sonics and the lyrics? And it went from red, and then it went to like a brownish color at the end. Color, yeah, yeah. I don't know because once with Death Grips, it's really hard for me to pick up lyrics. It's more about listening to the aggression and the tone. Of the and music. this helps. So these visuals, or I don't know if they help or add more confusion. It's nice to see something accompanying the, the, yeah. the Sonic though. And then there was them opening the safe and there was the needle inside. Yeah, so on maybe, top of grass as well, like that you see in like health food shops. Grass could represent weed maybe, it could represent comfort, it could represent nature or your safe place, I don't know. <coughs> safe place in a safe. Hmm. I don't know. And then the one that really got me was the, the fan in a cushioned room yeah. with the vent and then a hammer, but then the hammer was sweating. Or it, it, it looks like the hammer was like, yeah, it was like hallucinating itself. Like I took that as like the fan was their fans and like they might have very diehard fans. So maybe like 
They felt like they were trapped in a room with their fans, but everything around them was like really soft. Well, that room, um, as I said before, that, that, that looks like a room so you put a, in like an insane asylum. Yeah. Like to cut all your senses out. Yeah, that was very similar to that. Sonically, though, I did enjoy that. Yeah, I so far Switched the first three nicely tracks. nicely a couple times. I've probably enjoyed the first three tracks. They've been, they've been pretty good. <laughs> Is that a grenade? Yeah. In a shopping trolley. Oh my god, this is violence now. Obviously oh. just that line was repeating the whole time, you hear, right? I oh, know, I actually didn't notice. Yeah. Also, I, I found the track pretty boring compared to the first three. I wasn't huge on it. But the visuals, once again... I struggle to critique this, because it's like... What's right and what's wrong? But like, nothing's right or wrong in music. It's all subjective. It's all about how you take it. Right? I don't know how to take it up the ass, in the mouth. <laughs> In the eyes. Holy damn, bro. In the ears. But like the, the shoes sort of distorting. I don't know what that meant. The handcuffs moving really quickly. And then well, they sped up. You know, they noticed they sped up towards the end. Yeah. Like to maybe to depict the extra chaos that was ensuing. There was the, the yellow and blue sort of melting whatever it was with a floating ball around it. It looked like a frame of a shoe. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, that track, that track really didn't do anything for me. And the video just left me so confused. <laughs> Like all these. This shit is... What the Bruh. It's like a donut. And they switch it up. Oh, man. What the fuck? Oh, my God. <laughs> Your brain can't handle it. This shit is so weird to me. Oh, bro. It's so trippy. Is that rotating the other way now? I think so, and it's a white screen as well. It's like the opposite. What are you saying there? Birds. Like, one bird, two birds, three birds, four birds. A grasshopper? Praying pray mantis. I got fake. I got, I got, I got, I got. I got. Uh, Can I straight up say that that's the best track on the album so far? Without a doubt, the best track. That was really that was an incredible track. 
How are you feeling about that, man? You know, it, it's interesting. You, if, you, if you say it's the most, if the best one, mm. maybe it's because to me, it induces the most uncomfortableness. It's the most eerie. The most like mm. unexpected. The sounds, coupled with the visuals, a very wailing sound. To go from the girl with the hair, <coughs> what the fuck's that? To closing it up, just spinning to the coffin. So the praying mantis at the end? Crazy. Uh, don't know what it represents, but I love the sounds in there. I love the switch up to the lighter guitar in the middle that came out of nowhere. It was amazing. It's probably probably my top Death Grip songs. That was really incredible. That was a really good song. I guess I'm just not woke enough for this, guys. No, it's just, it's just different, man. I just really fucked with what they did. I wish those shuffles stored more space on them. I know, man. I would get one if it got like 64 gig. I only got like 16. Bruh. Eight. musical there's not much singing on here yeah it's quite repetitive that plant's getting right yeah man that poor motherfucking plant bro at least it didn't explode like that palm tree probably will that was the most repetitive one right there just the same kind of instrumental the whole way i didn't mind it but like it's not a track I'd go back to and be like, fuck, I really want to listen to this song. No, it's, more what, just, yeah. it's more just like, I guess it fits a lot of the album, but I don't know. It was kind of, eh, it was kind of so-so. After the last track, that was kind of a letdown. The last track was crazy. I ain't got shit to say. I just wanted to know what was going to happen to that plant, man. <laughs> fucking, fucked. fucking design are getting fucking blown away by shit. sound. <laughs> what are they, anal beats? It's like a cartoon. Oh. That's weed. That's weed. Can use some of that. I am overflow on the toe shot slip. Where they go? Down the road. Club key and lock shit. I am overflow on the toe shot flip. Tap. All right. Love tap. The switch up was crazy though. I like those switch ups. Switch up was dope. The different representation of colors of hearts. Maybe you notice after every switch up, we went from red, green to purple. Red could represent love. Green could represent envy. Purple could represent pain. It was uh, it was cool. I, I didn't mind that one. I kind of liked the the fast paces of it and yeah. the sort of the the yeah 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 the, 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 the like when you took up. away all the all the stripped down all the instrumentals. Mm -hmm. And they just came in with the vocals. Yeah. I love well, that. I think it was a really cool track. I kind of, I kind of like the visuals of that one. Those visuals, kind of, made a bit more sense <coughs> to me than some. Some of them sitting there going, "What the fuck?" These I'm kind of just like, "Hey." Oh, yeah. So they have the love tap and the the bubbles. Can we just make a shout out to the guy who fucking designed all this in some Adobe program, probably like After Effects, because he would have had his work set out for him. Oh yeah. This is all just out of nothing. I reckon either like maybe Death Grips did themselves. Jesus, if Who they knows? had that skill set. That, how hard is it? How would it be to be like, hey, I want this? And the guy would have been like, you want what? <laughs> or they could just be like, they just know the fuck what they want. It's like producing your own music. You know exactly what you want. But when someone else is doing it for you, it's hard to get them to do exactly what you want. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey. That lighter though. <clears throat> it's like a party. Oh, 
Oh. Fucking hate spiders, man. That's creepy as fuck. It's like the spider's spazzing out. Yeah. That spider's going ham, bro. More faces keep appearing every time. Faces? The smiley Wait, look, Oh, more, yeah. More keep appearing every time. Oh, my God. I don't know how I feel about that one. I, what I did like, sonically, when the spider started spazzing out, that's when that was the highlight for me, sonically. That was, that was, was kind of creepy, because I'm arachnophobic, so that was creeping me out. Then also, like, every time the the egg broke and the money came out of the egg and the smiley face appeared, the smiley face just kept getting more and more and more. Like, is that a representation of money and how money spread? I, I don't know. There was definitely some meaning in that video there that I'm missing. Also, if we're missing anything in these videos that you've picked up Bro, yourself. We're missing everything. Comment below. Comment below your interpretation or if you know Death Grip's interpretation, then give us Good a look. I wanna know exactly what the fuck they think and what they're beyond when they're doing this shit, you know? God damn. What is that? What the fuck is that? How you feeling, man? I'm just melting. I'm just slowly doing, melting man? into the world. Doing, man? My brain is just slowly melting. Oh, yeah. It's better than JPEG so far, so. It's better than JPEG? See, I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I prefer JPEG. I haven't listened to it again, though, so. Like, JPEG feel, made me feel really uncomfortable and nauseous. This just makes me. Like, I can understand this. I can get this. What, but what do you get? What can you understand? Because. I feel like we can't under with them. Oh no, it's more like the sounds I get. Like okay, the, sonically, like they, yeah, sonically, they make more sense more to you. Sense. Exactly, they vibe with you more. Exactly. Well, that track was kind of. Eh, it was okay to me. This is definitely like, as people say, a lot of people say this is their weakest album. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily think think it's a bad album. I'm enjoying a lot of aspects of this album, but compared to the Money Store, No Love Deep Web with some crazy sounds in there, and yeah. like um, Ex Military, I definitely enjoyed those more. I enjoyed them a lot more. Like this to me. Is a lot more like there's nothing that's keeping me engaged more like i'm really zoning out and the visuals are just really making my head sort of just overthink things in a way or really try to get what's going on like it can't be it can't be different i reckon that listening to this without the visuals would be very a very different experience too if yeah i agree yeah if not probably worse maybe like i don't know mm, we have what? less to say well, I know, well, there's only been one song on this album that I've really liked. Maybe two. I really like, I really like the first track. I really like that other track. And I haven't really been vibing a lot of this album. This is an album that I'm probably not going to go back to much at all. So far. Well, there's the fucking review right there. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I don't even know how many tracks we got left. Who even thinks to put an inhaler with the hundred emoji in front of a barbed wire fence? Maybe and there's a mirror. Maybe he has asthma and he feels trapped. But he's not trapped. There's a gate behind him, not in front. I love what you said. Who would think to put an inhaler 
with a hundred emojis with barbed wire and a mirror? I don't know. And also the barbed wire. Did you see that some of the poles weren't lined up correctly? They weren't even connected to it? Jesus Christ. It's like, do they even care about that? Or was there a meaning to that? Uh, Does it represent how he has asthma and he feels trapped? Does he like his reflection? I, I wonder if Death Grips, like, are, is it two or three members? I can't remember. I don't know. I think it's it's more than one, obviously. Uh, I wonder if they hate people like like me or us. They just, just don't get it. Maybe. And if they do, they're welcome to. Or if they're just like, nah, nah, man, it's cool, man. Like, let me explain you something. Because I love them if they were here and they were just like, all right, let me, let me tell you something. Oh, ha, you suck. Oh, uh, uh, all right. Yeah, look, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I want, fuck who's watching. Does that explain your question? It is hella creepy. Stop it, man. Stop it. Shit! Let it end! <laughs> it's MC Rod. Is he dead? Was that death? <laughs> Fuck that. Oh. That shit is over. Death grips. Government blood. <sighs> Hold on. I was... Hold on. The last track. Last track. I always do it, don't I? The last track. This is odd. I'm gonna mix it up. This looks a bit too. <laughs> a bit too. Not good. The last track, sonically, might have been my, one of my favorites. Mm. But the visuals started fucking with me on a different level because it's the only other video to actually have a human in it. Mm -hmm. There's only two. Start and the end. And the yeah. start had MC Ride, and maybe maybe everything we've seen throughout the album has some... MC Ride going crazy. And everything that... MC's going in his head. And at the end, he's dead. Or at the end, maybe he's just fucked. I don't know, man. But I agree with you. that last track sonically was really good, but seven minutes of that shit. Just got real fucking like. I don't know how I feel about this album. I don't think I enjoyed it. I think I could go back to it for tracks. I don't think you're supposed to enjoy Death Grips. I don't think enjoy is a word you use. I think I think you do. I think there are many people out there enjoy all their work. I think. I just I don't know. Like Money Store, I really enjoyed, uh, and then No Love Deep, Web Next Military, I enjoy in like parts. I don't enjoy them as full projects. Whereas this right here, like, I don't know, I feel like if I understood the visuals more, and if I understood more what they were saying more, then maybe I could listen to it again and really get a, get more of a feel for it. 
Like I was really getting into it the first three tracks, but then after that, I just sort of just really just just zoned the fuck out. It was just like, instead of paying more attention, be like, fuck yeah, what's coming up next? I was more just like, when will this end? It's like an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah. But you don't get it. Like you, there isn't the message. You just don't get the message. Oh yeah. Everything I've, else is freaked you out in between. I have no idea what the message is for this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for being like this, y'all. No, Death Grips. Death Grips did this to us. Death Grips did Death this Grips, to us. You did this to us. Death Grips did this Death to us. Death Grips, you did this to Death us. Death Grips did this to us. Ah uh, shit. Death Grips did this to us. 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 Death Grips. Government place. Jungle Beats. We're Jungle Beats. Were we Nadwa? Fuck me. Oof. Thank God that one's out of the way, right? 